hello folks today we are going to set up the IntelliJ idea for Scala Spark environment so to so today we are going to install the IntelliJ idea first we will go to the Google and search for the IntelliJ idea we will go to the site of the JetBrains and look for the community edition so click on the download button and go for the community edition click on the download i have already downloaded the intellij idea and installed it so i will not going to again download it so you can download and install after the installation open the intellij idea after installation open open IntelliJ idea and so we will see in action so I am opening the IntelliJ idea after the installations and go to first the plugins so you will have to add the two plugins one is Scala this is Scala so I have already installed it so I will not go into again install it and one more plugin that is the SBT configuration and the SBT executor so this is the SBT executor you have to install so after the both plugins installed so you will go to the projects and create new project so in new project you will select here Scala and give the name for the project so let's say project 0 2 and for the build system we are using a SBT configuration so click on the SBT and JDK will be the 1.8 if you don't have any 1.8 JDK so you can download from the here click on the download JDK and select the version and download it after that SBT SBT version and the Scala version Scala available version I will be using here 2.12.19 okay so I am using it and download the resources and I'm now creating the project so I have created the project so after the creation of the project you will be seeing the build.sbt file so it actually contains the Scala version and the project name Okay, so we will test the first uh, Scala. We'll go to the Scala and create the one Scala class. the new scalar scalar class like hello and select the object creating a new and extend in this application extend app okay so I'll be printing a one line so we can see that our scalar version is working fine hello world Scala is working. So I will be running this file. So it is actually compiling the things.
So you can see here the output is came out. Hello world, Scala is working. So the our Scala version is working. So we will now add the dependencies of this Spark. So we will go to the Maven repository. We have to we have to add the Spark dependencies. So we will be using here Spark 3.3.0 and the scalar version is 2.12.19 and the Java JDK version will be 1.8. So we'll be searching for the Spark 3.3.0. So we'll go to the Google and search for the Maven repository. go to the maven repository in the search bar write a spark and search so you will be seeing the spark project core in the spark project core you will be having the all low level codes will be there like rdd and like that so we will be using a 3.3.0 with a 2.12 so select this 2.12 go to the down select the SBT and after that copy this command open dependency and go to the SBT configuration and paste here mm -hmm. and for the spark SQL you will again go to the maven repository and the second so we will be set on the spark project SQL we are going to select 33.0 and 2.12 again go down and copy the configuration go to the IntelliJ ID and paste over it and do one thing after pasting the things you have to delete this provide it and save it So we will one we will one two thing we are going to restart the skill id or this IntelliJ id exit and go to the again IntelliJ id So dependency added by us so it will getting now indexing you can see here importing project 02 sbt project and here the analysis analyzing is started two week warnings So we'll wait for a few minutes for the configuration. <clears throat> so indexing is started again. So here you can see the scanning of the files. So we will try it out a new project scalar class again demo. So the extending extends the app and try to create the Spark session.
so you can see here we are actually seeing the automatic prompt of the IntelliJ idea so we'll be giving the demo and master here master local just this block session is created we'll run this demo <laughs> So program is actually executing. Let's see if this program is good or not. So the info is getting Apache version. Shut down of code, deleting the directory. Exception in main thread. Could not parse local. So there is a one mistake here L O C A L one spelling mistake we'll again execute it so you can see here the infos is getting created you can here see the spark session is created so our program is actually executed by the spark so we can say that the spark environment is has been ready so make sure that whenever you are configuring the IntelliJ idea make sure to add the dependencies in the build.sbt so in this uh, <clears throat> In this session, actually, we have used the Spark 3.3.0 and Scala 2.12.19 and Java version JDK, which will be 1.8. Please take a note of that. And after that, we will be running one more word count problem from the Scala, Scala Spark word count. So we'll be selecting the scale object and I already have one code ready for this word count. I'll just paste it here. So the main advantage of using the spark with scalar is a type safety. And using a pi spark, it is actually a good the syntactic sugar like means it is very good uh, nice way of writing with the pi spark but there will be no compile time safety so i will run this run the word count so we can see the output So program is getting executed now so it is getting executed and you can see the memory is also 1437 point me see now you can see the word and the count hello is created three times world is one spark is two scala is two fun is one is two one the scala spark with scala is now been configured in the intellij idea by using the sbt executor and scala plugin so take a note of this and you can take and take out a screenshot of this configuration to set up the 
environment for your IntelliJ IDEA environment. So thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want new codes or new uh, new Spark series, you can comment it down. So I can will be making a new videos on the Spark Scala and PySpark and along with the Hive. So thank you, thank you very much.